Good evening, everyone. Today I'm at the Jack Plant Market, and for you plant lovers out there, this is the place to be if you love plants. Now, this market is a wholesale market, so everything that you see here will be at wholesale prices. This is the place where um, plant stores, plant shops, anywhere across the country buy their stock for their own shops. So you're getting dirt cheap prices, excellent selection, some of them very rare. And oh my God, there's always a surprise at every corner. So if you want to come to this market, there are three days a week, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Okay, and each of these days, they're slightly different. If you come on Tuesday, okay, there's gonna be the most selection. If you want rare items, if you want really hard to find plants, the ones in the best conditions, you'll find them here on Tuesday because it's fresh. Everyone comes and load their, uh, uh, everyone comes by the, the truck load and unload their uh, plants here on Tuesday. So everything is in top shape. You know, the downside of, on, uh, of coming on Tuesday is that the prices are going to be a little bit higher than, you know, on Wednesday or Thursday. If you want a bargain, however, I recommend you to come on Thursdays. That's when everyone packs up and leaves. And especially it's Thursday afternoon. If you can come here on Thursday afternoon, you'll get a huge bargain just because simply because they don't want to, you know, pack things back up and uh, and go home with all their stuff. So normally you could get stuff really cheap, um, but you know, mind you that the selection is not going to be very, um, very good because most of the plants are already sold. All the great ones, all the good ones are um, already taken. And as you see here, I'm here on a Tuesday, so you can see, you know, trucks unloading uh, their plants here. You have all these varieties, whatever you like, whatever you may be interested in, house plants or even trees, there's everything here for you at super, super duper prices. And check these out. These are, oh my God, these are heliconias. This is a huge, huge heliconia, probably seven or eight feet. And look at all the, uh, the blooms here and one of these I don't know if you can guess how much but I just got them one of them last week for 100 baht which is about three US dollars for this whole thing you know for three US dollars that's how much of a bargain this place is okay and if you want to come here you can take the MRT to either Machit station or Kampang Pet station if you uh, come out of the Kampang Pet station you actually literally um, will emerge right into this plant market, okay? So the better station is Kampang Pit, okay? Um, or you can take a taxi and tell them you'd like to go to the Jatu Jak weekend market. All right, everyone knows where it is. Uh, you can come here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, depending on what your goal is. If you want to see rare um, items, you know, best selection, it's the best to come. On Tuesdays you want a bargain you definitely want to come on Thursday afternoon all right um, oh my god look at this there's literally surprises at every stall look at these um, very tiny orchids oh my god they are perfect for indoor terrariums look how tiny they are oh my god and they are already in bloom oh this is amazing and if you see the prices here and you wonder how much they are, um, you just divide the number by 30. So 30 baht is one US dollar. So this one is 200 baht, which is um, probably around uh, six US dollars, roughly. So they're very reasonable for, you know, given the uh, condition of the plants that are in and um, the selection that are available. And each of these stalls specialize in their own type of plant. Like this one, you know, specializes in miniature orchids and um, different kinds of ferns. And so you can see here. Um, all right. And as you walk along, you know, you, you'll run into shops that specialize in various 
different types of plants and each week they would bring a different selection like this one you know this one wasn't here last week so depending on what's in bloom what's in season and uh, you, you'll see you know different kinds of plants so you can come here literally every week and you're not get bored okay so there's always something to surprise you it's always exciting to be here every single week oh look this store specializes in um, bulbs and there's various bulbs and herbs um, that you can buy and plant a lot of people buy these and use them as medicine you know Thai medicine uses a lot of these types of herbs um, one of the things you can see here this is uh, white turmeric all right so and you have a lot of these bulbs going on here so again this is um, a fantastic place to be if you're a plant lover um, these are lady slippers you can see oh my god they're so cute they're perfect for the office you know or in a terrarium or vivarium if you have one um, and here's a store that here's a shop that specializes in pitcher plants so you can see various kinds of pitcher plants available oh my God, some of them are super cute all right amazing just simply amazing the best time to come actually you know either tuesday wednesday or thursday is late afternoon somewhere between three o'clock um, four or five o'clock just because it's not that hot you know normally thailand summer is really hot and um, if you come here around maybe four or five it's perfect uh, just uh, just about the right time to you know be enjoyable because the sun is not too hot uh, most of the shops are already set up and ready to go and this place last um, on Tuesday last anywhere from you know three o'clock to six or seven o'clock at night you know even uh, they go way beyond after it's dark all right so if you come on a Tuesday I recommend you showing up around 4 or 5 p.m. that's when you see you know everything at its full glory you know everything is well stocked all the plants are very fresh and you enjoy the best selection if you're into house plants I definitely recommend you come to this shop right here it's there's enormous selections uh, of various house plants and these are all planted in very small pots you know things like about these so each of this is 10 baht which is around 30 uh, 33 cents do you believe that 33 cents for one pot and so it's very easy to you know just go crazy and just grab everything you see here without breaking your bank you know um, oh my god this is so exciting this stall specializes in bromelades you can see there's quite a few varieties to choose from each of them is 100 baht which is about three US dollars and they're pretty decent size um, pretty huge one for three bucks don't you think and uh, they have quite a wide selection of, uh, of species here this one's pretty huge I'm not an expert in bromelades so I'm sorry I can't really tell you much about the various items here but just to show you the variety and the sizes and the prices that you will see here at the market guys check these out this is um, philodendron sunrise look at the gorgeous red new leaves and the size of this plant this is a pretty decent size 
And I just asked the uh, vendor and she said this pot is 80 baht, which is less than three bucks. Can you believe this? And over in the back here, we have the Moonrise, according to her, which is a gorgeous yellowish, pale green um, glow of the leaves. These two are such gorgeous plants. If you want to add a little green or red or color to your living room. This is another stall that specializes in uh, fruit trees. So you can see here we have uh, coconut, uh, we have tamarind here, several types of tamarind. Um, we have neem plants. Let me see. Here we have coffee. The coffee tree. Right here. And so a variety of... Oh, here's guava. Various types of fruit trees here. Also on this side. Also a lot of fruit trees here. And uh, this one specializes in flowering plants for outdoors. So these plants love a lot of sun and uh, if you have a garden or a yard, these will be perfect. Again, we, run, are we are approaching another uh, cactus shop right here. <coughs> these are pretty affordably priced, probably around you know, 30 cents a pot, depending on the uh, types you see here. The larger ones here are 50 baht, which is around you know, almost two dollars, not, not, not even two dollars. Uh, here we have more fruit trees. The durian plants, the durian trees seedlings here are really popular. We have uh, quite a few species and uh, the price of durian has risen quite significantly in the past few months because uh, apparently, Jack Ma over at Alibaba came over and uh, and sold our durians online on Alibaba, and I think they sold something like tens of thousands of fruits in three minutes. So that pretty much single-handedly jacked up the price of durian and the demand for durian in Thailand. We have some very colorful begonias here. Beautiful. And some more cacti. These, uh, some of these actually in this shop right here, a lot of them are imported from Japan. So what you see here are mainly import ones. The prices are quite high. Um, but also, they're quite rare. Right. You also, they also sell these loose plants. Well, actually, this is not loose. Sorry, uh, they're in pots. But sometimes they sell loose plants, so you can, you know, easily plant them in later. You have accessories, soil, fertilizers, chemicals, things like that. These astrophytums look gorgeous. Look at all the, uh, the spots on them. And you know, if you get tired or hungry while you're strolling around, there are a number of street food you can enjoy. Oops. This is um, fried bananas and uh, potatoes. Oh, the smell is just oh, amazing. Just specializes in ferns, a lot of hanging ferns. There's a uh, terrarium shops with glass jars, little figurines, and you know various tools for terrariums. Quite popular over here. And now we're back at the Haliconia shop right here. Amazing.
Oh, and one thing is that if you go overboard on shopping, you buy all these stuff, so you can always hire one of these people here with a cart. And you can flag them down, and uh, they charge about 100 baht an hour, which is about three bucks an hour. And they would literally follow you wherever you go to all these stalls. And when you buy any of these plants, you can put them on the carts, carts like these, and they would wheel these carts after you, you know, so you can go overboard, buy all you want, and um, put all these plants on the cart, and they will wheel you to wherever you go uh, throughout the entire market. Very, very convenient, very, very affordable. And this store right here specializes in begonias. Um, you can see that there are quite a few varieties. There, there's some you know, way inside there. And uh, whatever you want, you can ask for. If they don't have it, they can find it for you, definitely. Very nice, beautiful. And this stall here specializes in, believe it or not, bananas. And so you can see, probably tens of species of different types of bananas each having a different form this i believe is a dwarf banana i just bought this a couple weeks ago and the store owner told me that it only uh, will it will grow only up to about a meter or three feet it will not grow any taller than that and it also bear edible fruits so uh, hopefully we'll get to see some of the fruits someday. I'll let you guys know what it's like when it grows. And uh, you know, other than the plants that you see here, uh, sometimes people bring their produce from their orchards. Here we have um, passion fruits and uh, bananas we have here. If uh, you want the uh, the trees of these fruits you can come to this stall right here and uh, they have various trees fruit trees uh, this one is a red jackfruit um, pretty uncommon you don't really see that uh, very often um, here you have a red pomelo and uh, you know look at the size of these mangoes these are huge huge mangoes um, we have durian plants right here. Durian is a really big thing here in Thailand. If you don't know what it is, Google it. It looks like an armor-plated American football. And it smells very, very characteristic. You will never forget that smell. Here's a red pomelo. And uh, we have longans right here. And so this stall here specializes in um, fruit-bearing trees. Uh, if you are a cactus fan, you will not want to miss this market because there are numerous, numerous uh, shops with different species of cacti you can select from. Prices range from really cheap, a couple cents a pot, up to thousands of dollars per pot, um, depending on you know how rare they are and uh, how large, things like that. So this is definitely a must for cactus lovers. Guys, while you're, you know you're shopping for plants, you get hungry. There are quite a few, uh, quite a number of street vendors that you can buy from, either for drinks, for coffee for snacks and that's why i show you here this is the mrt kampang pet station so if you get down at the kampang pet station let me see what exit that is um exit number two okay it's um kampang pet mrt kampang pet station exit number two you can you know come up right here very close right next to the plant market you can walk right in And um, just a couple of tips when you come here, you can bargain. Yes, well, 
yes, as if most of the things um, on the street in Bangkok or in Thailand, you can bargain. But the prices here are already pretty dirt cheap. So, you know, if it's not, you know, uh, crazily expensive for you, I'd say just, you know, enjoy the selection, enjoy the, uh, the health of the plants, the selection, and just, you know, take it for what it is. You know, don't be too... Uh, hard on the price here because oh my god look at these lithops they are huge look at the size of um, of the plants here now this shop here specializes in cacti you can see every week they have a pretty beautiful selection um, of cacti and also some ivies I, I love to get ivies from this shop um, they have several the IVs don't do that well here actually in Thailand, it's a bit too hot, but um, but they, they can thrive, just uh, a little bit of you know TLC and they, they should survive okay. Um, this shop right here, it's a bit, uh, it's drizzling right now, but um, <clears throat> this shop right here specializes in water plants for ponds and you can see most of the plants that they sell here are in um, pots. Uh, that have water in them. So all these are plants that can be grown um, in water, all right, for your pond, for your water features, things like that. All right, guys, I hope you had a great time. I hope you got a sense now of what this market is like on a Tuesday afternoon. Uh, if you have any questions, Make sure you write them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Alright, have a great time. I'll see you in my next clip. Bye bye.